Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 10 of the Blue 5 build. In this video, I'm going to be fitting a speaker box across the back of the van, which is going to house a couple of Pioneer speakers and a light right in the centre. Um, in part one of this build, I showed you how to fit the actual loom or the wiring in, so I'm going to show you that again in this video just so you can remind yourself of how it goes. But if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and let's crack on. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm trying to build a um, rear box unit that's going to go in the back of the van to house the speakers and a central light. So what I've done so far, just so you're not watching a whole video of me measuring and cutting wood, because that would be really boring, is I've measured the distance that I want the um, kind of like fake shelf to go across the back. I've marked the centre and I've drilled my 56mm hole for my 55mm diameter light. Um, I've also marked where I want the speakers to sit and now I'm just trying to make it fit. <laughs> so I've, what I've got is I've got these couple of shape bits for wood like this um, and these are going to go into the sides over here. So if I just work this one out and I'll show you where these go. These are going to fit just up in there. So I've got one either side and obviously the piece that goes underneath. I've marked out here, so I've got my center of my light. I've got my center where my speaker's going and I've obviously got the ends of the panel itself. Um, so, <laughs> good times, eh? So what I'm gonna do is crack on, get bits of this done and then as I um, get into each stage of it, I suppose, I'm just going to show you where I'm at. So with a bit of jiggery pokery, uh, this is what I've come up with so far. And let me show you where it's going to go. going to fit just up in there. Right, so now I'm going to get it carpeted and lined uh, with this nice foam backed uh, suede, which I'm going to be using also on my bedboard. Um, so let me get cracking, let me get this covered, and when I've finished, we'll take a look at it. Right, so that's all lined up. I'm now just cutting out the holes for the speakers. So they're just gonna drop in here. Hopefully we can keep this nice and neat. There's one. Hole for the light. Hmm. 
Okay, let's get the speakers. Let's drop them in. Okay, so to start with, uh, speaker wise, I am literally just going for a little set of uh, six inch, six, six inch Pioneer speakers. Um, they look okay. I'm not too fussed at the moment. All I wanted to do was get this sorted. So let's get that in position. It's going to nip a couple of little pilot holes. Then we can get these screws, little blackies. Spin you around and show what it looks like so far. So, there she is at the moment. All we've got to do now is get the wiring redone for the speakers, get the little um, fixing points put on, and then get the light put in, and then get it all wired up nicely. So, what you want to do is remove this little yellow tag and put it somewhere very safe. So we need to find ourselves the ports on the back of this um, brown plug. So you've got one, two, and seven and eight. One is the positive side for the right-hand side, and two is the negative. And then uh, seven is the positive side for the left, and eight is the negative side for the right. Once you've connected them, you can run your cables to the back of the van. Uh, I've chosen to run mine in before my roof went in. Um, so you can see that I've just taken it along through the top following the existing loom and then just dropping out the back ready. That isn't the position they're going to be in but that's just there so I know they're done. And what you'll see here is that I've used a little L bracket inside and also on this side just to fix the box itself in place onto uh, the roof. So all I've got to do now is get the speakers in. Once I've got the speakers in, I'll show you what it looks like. And there you go, speakers are in, lights in, speaker cages, etc. And she's looking good. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Um, this is Tom, this is T Dubs. If you haven't subscribed, um, hit the subscribe button and join the channel for more videos. In the next video, I'm going to be fitting a bed board into my roof so I'm going to show you how to do that for yourself if you want to try and save some money when you're having your roof done. Thanks for watching, see you all soon.